Hey everybody, it's Kneecap here, and in this video we have some Retribution Paladin buffs and nerfs on the War Within beta for the War Within. Uh, so we'll go through both of those. Buffs, obviously we take. Nerfs, not as good, obviously. Uh, one thing here, if I scroll all the way to the top, they nerfed Avoidance and Leech on pretty much everybody's talent trees. So our Sanctified Plates now has a little bit less avoidance than what it did before. I think it was 5%, and now it's 3%. So we lost 2% avoidance um, on our Talent Tree, on our Sanctified Plates. Um, I, can, I can go up to make sure that's the exact number. Let's see. Um, Paladin grants 3% was 5%. So yeah, so that is the case there. That is another defensive nerf. Everybody got this defensive nerf, though, although not equally. Some people got less of a defensive nerf than others, but it is a light defensive nerf to pretty much everybody. Uh, avoidance, obviously, in my opinion, is better than Leech, especially in Raid. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it is what it is. This is just another little tick, I will say, off the defensiveness. I've said not to panic or yet, but I have warned multiple times about these little ticks on our defensiveness. And I also want to say before we get into these straight retribution changes, I want to say that uh, playing on the beta with no versatility, because none of my gear has verse on it, um, you're going to notice a stark difference uh, going from Dragonflight into the War Within. It's not that we're made of paper like we used to be. Um, but you are no longer this enforcer tank that can just pretty much live anything. So it, it'll be a realization for a lot of people. And I think more than anything, it honestly, if more than anything, if you're going to get on the forums or write a post, make sure you point out that you, they said that they do not want rep paladins to be paper because they wear plate, blah, 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 blah. Um, and so they keep taking a little bit away from us. In my opinion, they, they are trying to focus taking away from the Paladin as a class, not realizing how much that affects Rhett specifically, but I, I digress. Let's get into these other changes. Obviously, I'm not happy about that, <laughs> the Sanctified Plates nerf. Um, again, that's a nerf to everybody, but it is what it is. So Divine Wrath no longer extends the duration of, of Radiant Glory. I can't get on the bait. The bait actually just went down, so I can't actually show you the talents. Um, but I, I know them all very well to be able to talk about them. Uh, no longer extends the duration of Radiant Glory. So Radiant Glory, if you on my channel at all, or you're looking at Rep Paladin at all, you've heard about Radiant Glory. Uh, Radiant Glory basically turns your Wake of Ashes into what activates your Avenging Wrath. And before the Divine Wrath talent, which is in the very middle of your Retribution side, uh, extended it by 1.5 seconds, as you can see up here. That no longer happens. So what do I think about this? It's technically a nerf. We're still going to probably play Radiant Glory, especially in Season 1. But what this change does do is basically makes it a lot easier for them to do things to not use Radiant Glory for the whole expansion, which has been my only critique of Radiant Glory, is that I think we're going to use it for the whole expansion unless they do something differently. Um, and so this could be part of that. It also kind of ruins that talent point, though. It ruins that talent choice because it doesn't affect your Radiant Glory at all. So you that choose Radiant Glory or Divine Wrath, on the plus side, it does free up a talent point <laughs> for you to put somewhere else. Um, since it literally does nothing with Radiant Glory. Vanguard Adjusted has been updated, so I begged for an update to this. Unfortunately, I don't like the update. <laughs> Enemies hit by other Holy Power spending abilities. Uh, take 30% increased damage from your next Divine Storm, stacking up to 3-5 to five times. Still a 2-point talent. So this is up to... 90% or if, if it's literally 30% each time, 90% or 150%. Here's the problem. <laughs> so you have to use five final verdicts to get one powerful divine storm with two points into it. Again, this just doesn't make sense. Whatever they're doing with this talent, it doesn't make sense. I could think of some combinations of other rat talents to pair this with. Um, but it just wouldn't make sense because in, in any situation where you're, you're using five final verdicts in a row, you, you don't really want to even bother using your divine star. <laughs> like you're, it, it just doesn't make a ton of sense. Um, that's all I can say with that. Like, I don't know. Uh, I, I'm not sure what this, 
what I don't know what they're doing with Vanguard or Justice. This is not a buff or a nerf, in my opinion. This is just this talent is still crappy, in my opinion. Now this is kind of a buff, right? So if it's not a buff, it's really it's really helpful. It's quality of life. Uh, Judge, Jury, and Executioner has been updated. Holy Powder generating abilities have a 15% chance to cause your next Templar's Verdict to hit an additional three enemies. So this was triggering from Divine Storm. So when you Divine Stormed, you had a chance to uh, make your next uh, Final Verdict AoE everything. So not everything, but four total targets. Your target plus three others. Now they're changing it to generators. What's really cool about this is basically, in especially for Raid, right? Now in Raid, uh, a lot of the fights are single target prio, but there are some adds. And now, instead of having to worry about casting Divine Storm and losing your single target prio damage, you can just use your builders naturally. And then, all. doing so, your final vert will just cleave naturally. So this is actually the first time that I can think of, at least in a long time, right? Uh, that we actually don't have to, like, AoE to cleave, right? So this is, like, full single target cleave, essentially, if you want to spec that way. If you want to spec into full single target cleave, this is full single target cleave. And so, um, yeah, it's really cool, especially for raid. Not that it can't be used in Mythic Plus as well, but this is actually just really good. Um, it, it's something that most specs have that we don't, and there we have it. Uh, Judge, Jury, and Executioner no longer highlights. So I actually don't like this change as of now, unless there's a way to make it more obvious. Right now, um, I can try to explain on the screen. Let, let's look at this last one, and then we'll talk about this highlight on the screen. Templar slash damage over time bu debuff no longer displayed in the personal nameplates. Um, that's, it is what it is. That's just a quality of life regression, I guess. Or maybe, you know, the, it just doesn't matter that much. Um, I haven't played much with Templar uh, Strikes because um, I, I don't know that it's still good enough that you really want to use it. Um, and if they buff it, then it's always going to be used. So it, that's a hard one there. That that talent point's a hard one because right now Crusading Strikes is very good. It, it goes with haste well. Templar Strikes uh, was really good, and then they nerfed it. And the thing is, but if they buff it, you're just always going to use it. <laughs> so um, it's it's a very hard place. Uh, but let's talk quick about this Judge Jury Executioner thing here. I thought there was there might be a little bit on Hero Talents as well. Yeah, we'll go, then we'll go up to Hero Talents. So I'll move this over here. Let's talk a little bit about uh, Judge Jury Executioner highlights. So we're on retail here. Like I said, the beta is not up. I was just on the beta, though, so luckily I do know how it works. So when, you're, when you use your, you know, let's say Blade of Justice, right? Your Holy Power, power Generators, you can proc the... Let's uh, get off mount here. You can proc your final verdict to hit three additional targets, so four total targets. And what it was doing is lighting it up. Now, there's other abilities that also light it up, uh, specifically, I believe, Empyrean Legacy lights it up. So instead of it lighting up now, it gives you like this flavor on the side of your character. So if you look at where my character is, it would be like right here and right here. Now, obviously, you could get a weak board to track this too, but it was kind of nice just having it light up, in my opinion. Now, the only issue I have with it, at least right now, the light up on it is very light. It's almost like a, it's like yellow, but it's almost like a light yellow green color, and it's not super obvious. Now, once you see it, so like I did a Mythic Plus dungeon, uh, and like once I got used to it, yeah, I was seeing it, but. Maybe they can just make it a little... They can make it smaller, even. Because it's quite large, but it's quite light. Um, something something to brighten it or some in some way or some different indicator. Otherwise, you know, I, I think now, while it won't affect me, and I can probably just play with it like that, I know a lot of people would want a weak aura over the way it currently looks. Um, again, if it was a little bit brighter, something, maybe... Maybe just a brighter, maybe the yellow color being more yellowy and not like the weird yellow green color that it is now. But yeah, I would definitely like to see that improved. So that's the new indicator for when your judge, jury, executioner procs. Let's talk a little bit about the hero talent stuff. Uh, so basically, <laughs> Sacr Sacrosanct Crusade has been redesigned. This is a ability that was putting like um, 
it was putting a uh, shield of vengeance on you, essentially. And now it's like healing you or whatever, and then it can put an absorb shield on you for the over the amount healed. The only problem with this right now is it's going to get nerfed. It is way too strong, basically. Like it, it's like you'll you'll just never die. <laughs> basically, it's 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 incredibly strong the way it currently is. So it's obviously going to get nerfed, but it is a cool idea. I, I do like how it works in general. Right now, it's just too much healing. You know, it, as someone who loves defensives and everything like that. I'm kind of like on the opposite end of a lot of the high-end community who wants to get rid of defensives. I love this, especially the healing yourself, because that's also class fantasy. Um, but uh, so the, the healing is just too much. That, that's all I can say about it. It, it is what it is. It, it could be it could be quartered and it would still be strong. Uh, you know, 25% it would still be strong. So and then there was just a an issue on a bug fix there. So those are the changes. Um Bit of nerfs for sure. Um, bit of a nerf, technically. Nothing burger because it's still worthless. Quality of life, goodness, and nothing. So it's like mini defensive nerf. I keep talking about these though. The TLDR is mini defensive nerf, but we've had a lot of mini defensive nerfs. Um, mini damage nerf, not a major damage nerf. Um, and then huge, and, and honestly, Especially for raid, just a huge quality of life and maybe even damage gain with the way judge, jury, and executioner works. So that that's a big W in my opinion. So kind of neutral in some ways, but the, the the judge, jury, executioner is such a big W that you might just think of all of this as like a positive. But again, if you're going to make anything on the forums, if you're going to make any specific complaint, first of all, please do so intelligently. They're more likely to listen to you if you talk intelligently. Um, but keep, just mention that we've had, like, what, three or four now minor defensive nerfs. At, and, like, these are going to start adding up. We also are going not to necessarily have a million versatility in the next expansion because Mastery is actually decent for us. So we're not going to have 30% versatility, 40% versatility, whatever you might have right now in Dragonflight. Um, just keep that in mind. Mention those kind of things. I don't want to turn back to paper. I really don't. Uh, but yeah, that'll be it for this one. If they continue the beta testing, I will be beta testing the keys up until all through the weekend, whatever. Um, and I'll be doing raid testing this week as well. Uh, so check those videos out if you could. Uh, as always, I do ask you to please subscribe to the channel as well, because it helps me out a lot. If you are are already a subscriber, uh, you can check out the Patreon if you like. You can check that out in the description below. And other than that, everybody, have a good one.